Hey guys, this is J.R. Long with the Fire of Christ Ministries and the Watchman Cry Ministries. As you see, I'm out walking my dogs, our dogs today. All right, we got Fitz, Pepper, Snooky, and my wife, Haley. All right, and guys, this video, this channel is just getting started. So I wanna kinda come on here and get a little more personal and uh, you know, just tell you a little bit more about myself and um, what God's done for me in my life and in my uh, wonderful wife's life. Um, guys, first off, I'm gonna start off by saying this. It is so important in these times that you are making time for your family. Guys, that you are spending time with your wives, with your children, with your, with your entire families. This is so important. Because you got to understand that if you're not doing these things, the devil can come in and snatch some th things right out from under you and you quicker than you can even snap your fingers. So please, brothers and sisters, saints across the world, please be spending time with your wives. Be spending time with your husbands, with your children. Go on walks or whatever you, you and your families like to do. These are dark times that we are living in. Huh? Yeah, forgive. Yes, that's that's very important too. We have to be and have forgiving hearts. We cannot be holding grudges and we cannot be just holding on to things against people. We must forgive everyone. Because the devil is trying to divide right now. Yes, the devil is trying to most certainly divide right now. So you got to be on your P's and Q's. You got to be on on guard you got to put the whole armor of god on do you hear me this is so important my brothers and sisters but that's not going to be the topic for today i'm going to come on here and give a quick little testimony about what all god has done for me and my wife um guys i'm 32 years 33 years old excuse me um and i've not always been this way okay the first part of my life my dad, he died when I was three years old in a terrible car crash. He was a terrible drug addict, a drunk. He worked on the uh, riverboat and he would come home every 30 days and blow all his money, fight with my mom and beat her and do all these terrible things. And then he would leave to go back out on the boat, always leaving my mom and us in, in debt without money, just in really bad situations. Okay, within, okay, and my da dad, he died when I was three, all right? Okay, within a year's time from that, within a year's time from losing my dad, my mom was in a horrifying car accident where she is permanently disabled to this very day. The whole left side of her body is completely stuck to her. She barely can walk. She barely can walk and she can barely get around. So, you guys bear with me just a moment. Just a moment. Okay. Um, so yes, she can barely get around. She, she literally can do nothing by herself and for herself. Um, she always has to have someone with her. So me and my sisters were split up at that time. I have two sisters. All right, and we were all split up. I went with my grandmother um, in, in Tennessee and my other sisters went with my other grandmother. I went with my dad's mom which was a wonderful Christian woman. And um, and she did her very best raising me. Well, like I said, this is going to be a quick little a walkthrough. One day I'll do a full in-depth testimony. Well, um, about the age of 16 or 17 years old, um, I got sent off to my first boarding school. And, um, and guys, I was supposed to be there for a year. I didn't make it. I made it three months and I ran from this place. And I was in Oklahoma hundreds and hundreds of miles away from anyone that I even knew. I had no idea what I was even doing. So my 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 uncle and my grandmother um came and picked me up. And um my uncle and my grandmother came and picked me up and um took me to my mama's because they had said that I was just too bad and there was uh they were kind of pretty much washing their hands of me. Um so you got to understand something. I'm 17 years old going to my mother's with absolutely no supervision. And um, so it got worse. 
I started using drugs. Um, I started, uh, fit stuff. I started using drugs and um, partying and doing things that was leading me down a life of a path of just destruction and chaos and terribleness. Okay, and this carried on my entire life, doing meth, going to prison multiple occasions, um, fighting, just doing awful things, terrible things. But the whole time, brothers and sisters, that I was going through these things, there was always it seemed to be a presence with me that I never understood. There was times where I would sleep at night on railroad tracks by myself, guys. But it always seemed like there was someone there. Always seemed like there was someone there with me, protecting me in my darkest times. All right. And so I, I listen, I got saved when I was six. So I thought, um, you know, but I, I knew God had a plan for my life the whole time. But I wasn't ready to answer his calling on my life. Um, so I'm going to get back to where I was. Um, the drugs carried on throughout my life. And again, like I said, it always seemed like there was someone with me. It always seemed like there was someone with me protecting me. Um, and, and I, I've never, I, I never could explain it or understand it, but now I do. Um, no matter how bad my life got at certain times, God was always there. And he always protected me. Folks, I overdosed and died on drugs. The Lord uh, mirac he miraculously brought me back. And, 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 and still, even after ODing on drugs and realizing God's mercy and him bringing me back to life, I still didn't turn to him. I still didn't surrender. So uh, at that point, I believe I was 19 years old. And, um, and, and, and I was still messing up, going from place to place, living just wherever and, um, going in and out of prison, doing awful things. Um, okay. And that went on guys until I was 29 years old. And when I say a hard life, brothers and sisters, no electricity, no, uh, groceries, no vehicle, just terrible times okay guys i met my wife at 26 yes i met my wife at 26 and she changed my life this is my wife Haley long okay she when we first met I, I i thought i had it together but i didn't i was working at a shipyard on the coast and um and, and, and we met and, and we knew the moment that we met that we were meant to be together. So we got married pretty quickly. All right. And, and within three weeks time, we were married, but this was all God's plan for our life. Because when I get to the end of this and you understand and hear what all God has done in our lives, your mind will be blown. Okay. So, um, after we were married, I worked when we first met, her leg was broken. She could not work, couldn't do anything. I had to carry her everywhere for the first six months. Okay. Well, so I went from job to job, not really uh, able to um, keep a job held down because I was always just messed up. My priorities were never straight. Okay. And all this always went on until I was um, 30 years old. Okay, and then um, it was when I was 30 years old that um, I God changed me and he opened my eyes and set my feet on solid ground. It was one day that we were walking down railroad tracks on the way to get a $5 pack of cigarettes. And you know what? That was all the money that we had. But it was that time walking down those railroad tracks that I believe God downloaded his holy spirit into me or something into me that changed the way i thought from that very minute okay and so i went from a life of addiction to meth to opiates to drugs to terrible things um god delivered me from all of these things from cigarettes brothers and sisters we quit smoking 
I, I remember one day working at our church. Nobody was there. My wife was sick. She wasn't feeling well. And I went down to the church because there were some things that need to be done. And I went down there to, to, to weed eat and to clean up at our church. And nobody, like I said, nobody else was there. And I remember I had tears rolling down my face. Because I knew I was being convicted for smoking when God had saved me and set my feet on, on solid ground. And, and for the first time, I could see clearly. For the first time, I was truly convicted for my foolishness. And so, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. That next morning that I woke up, I've smoked my whole life. That next morning that I woke up, I've never touched a cigarette since. That is amazing. Brothers and sisters, I know that the good Lord is, is, is here. He's all around us. Brothers and sisters, and there's a calling that He has on your life. These are dark times that we are living in. May your eyes be open, brothers and sisters. Share your testimony with others. Guys, that is just a, a mere smidget of mine. And I'm, I, I still got so much more to tell, but God has delivered us from me of a life, from a life of drugs, cigarettes, terrible things, fighting. And would you believe today we own our own company? The good Lord has blessed us with our own business. And we've been in business now for, for uh, going on three years, four years. We own a landscaping company. And the Lord has blessed us greatly because of obedience. No, we are not perfect. And yes, we always have work to do. But God knows each one of your hearts and our hearts. He is here for you right now at this very moment in your darkest hour when you feel like there's no hope or help for you. He is here for you, my brothers and sisters. And so now, yes, we, we own our own company the Lord has blessed us with. And when we started our business, brothers and sisters, a landscaping company, we didn't even have a vehicle. We didn't have a mower. We didn't have a rake, a shovel, a blower. We had nothing. You can't tell me that that's not a miracle from God. Remember, they overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. What is your testimony, brothers and sisters? What is the most miraculous thing God has done in your life? Comment below. Tell me. I want to hear. We respond. We have actually um, three ministries, and that is the Watchman's Cry Ministries, Project Rebirth Ministries, which helps out drug addicts and, and, and homeless people get off the streets and gives them a, um, a place to live and stay and to find her re rehabilitation and remove that, that spirit, that demonic spirit of addiction and replace it with the Holy Spirit. So we have, uh, again, the Watchman's Cry, Project Rebirth, and the Fire of Christ Ministries. And God has done so much in our lives. Brothers and sisters, our, the people around us, our family, their faith has been strengthened by what they've seen God do in our lives. God has done amazing things in our lives. He receives all the glory and credit. I never will and never can take an ounce of credit because it is nothing that I've done. It's nothing that my wife has done. But it's all God's doing. For whatever reason He chose to change me and to make me into a new creation and my wife into a new creation, for whatever reason He chose, I'm so thankful. Because this life is... There's no comparison from the life before of all of those terrible things for now to a, a life of, of joy, peace, and love and forgiving. Brothers and sisters, forgive. Forgive. You've got to forgive. Do not be holding grudges. If you, if you are holding grudges against your sister, against your brother, against your mom, against your dad, call them up. Forgive them for that thing that they have done. Forgive them. And brothers and sisters, you want the, the blessings that will come from that will be like no other. I'm asking you to forgive them today. Brothers and sisters, I'm asking you to like and subscribe 
to this channel to get more videos and we will sit down me and my wife and do full uh, a full testimony from our lives uh, from the very start until now if y'all want to hear the testimony y'all subscribe like and share and it will be a full probably take us a little while but it will be a full testimony from start to finish and uh, again brothers and sisters i pray for all the saints around the world daily as my wife does too brothers and sisters husbands and wives make christ the head of your marriage and the joy that will will take over your marriage will be unlike anything you've ever experienced let christ be the head of your marriage today and and and, and surrender all to him i hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day brothers and sisters Y'all take care. Until next time, this is J.R. Long and Haley Long and our family. Goodbye, guys.